As one of the relatives of the late Mr. Ratsumel Alakusi wrote in his memory, volumes would not suffice to do justice to his life and his works. The former Chief Justice hails from a unique line of jurists. His grandfather, Budan Lala, was the first Indo Mauritian to become an Athanath law in 1903, and his father, Ramlochan Lala, was also an Athanath law. From Avenue Bougainville in Cupid to the lecture halls of Oxford University and the first steps as State Council to becoming the longest serving member of the United Nations Human Rights Committee. The life of Mr. Lala will capture the imagination of Mauritians for generations to come. Mr. Lala was also pro-chancellor and chairman of the University of Mauritius and contributed in the institution of a law school at the University of Mauritius. One will not be surprised that Mr. Sachadid Bulel SC, DPP of the Republic of Mauritius, decided to name the newly built lecture hall and library after him. Years have passed, but Justice Lala remains one of the main authorities when it comes to human rights and constitutional matters. The ultimate aim of the criminal prosecution process, in line with the constitution and international law, is to produce a trial that is fair to the accused, to the state, and to the community. In that context, it is important to create a climate for witnesses to testify truthfully and without fear in order to fulfill the goals of truth and justice. I must say that witness protection and support is therefore central to the functioning of the criminal justice system. Victims in the criminal justice system must not or must be treated with courtesy compassion and uh, respect for their personal dignity. I believe that these are the attributes of a system of justice based on the rule of law. In the office of the DPP, we have set up a victims and witness support unit. And this, this responsibility has been assigned to a senior officer in the person of Mrs. Lechning. We have, we were concerned about the fact that in many cases, especially involving uh, children, there were far too many uh, withdrawals and the fact that this was encouraging a culture of impunity against those who were abusing children. Today, it has been, it is possible for us to once we are seized with a, with a case file, to invite different stakeholders, uh, people from the CDU, uh, people from the police, and also to, in order to ensure that we uh, have a coordinated approach, and in order for us to be able to go to court to ask for a fast track, so as to put to as little as possible anxiety upon a child victims and a child witness who is expected to testify in court in order to punish those culprits who abuse children. But of course the victims and witness uh, unit uh, doesn't stop there. We want to be able to liaise in so far as possible with those witnesses who come to court and want to be told as to the outcome of the cases. We want the police to be able to give them their witnesses if the case has been called after such a lapse of time they don't even recall the uh, statements that they, give, they gave to the police. We want also to be able to ensure that uh, they can uh, be told of the outcome through the police of, of their cases. So I think all these actors form part of the criminal justice system. It's not only about the accused, it's also about the, the state, it's also about the community, 
and we must strike uh, a proper balance. So I'm Mrs. Mutu Lekning, uh, the Acting Senior Assistant DPP, and I'm responsible for the Child Victim and Witness Support Unit. The creation of the Child Victim and Witness Support was felt because of a conviction rate in cases of sexual offences upon children and young persons were on the low side, and cases were discontinued as victims were reluctant to depose. The unit is mainly responsible to improve court practice in child abuse and neglect cases, but also in cases of sexual violence, domestic violence, human trafficking in person. The Child Victim and Support Unit acts as a liaison between the investigation phase of the inquiry made by the police and the advice stage and the lodging of cases in court. In that context, a fast-track procedure has been set up for all court cases involving children, victims and juvenile whereby the magistrate ensures that the cases are in shape and that counsel discloses all requested document well before the date the child is due to appear before court. Several awareness campaigns have been organised, namely a training session in children as victims and witnesses in the criminal justice system, which was organised by the US Department on the 6th and 8th of June 2012. On the 21st of March 2013, a book entitled Tanya Sous Histoire was launched by the Victim and Witness Support Unit of the Office of the DPP. This booklet explained in caricature the different stages involved in relation to assistance given by the police and the court to victims of sexual assault. Presentation of the booklet Tanya Sous Histoire was delivered in different colleges, namely Saint Mary's West at Petite Rivière, Saint Esprit at Rivière Noire, and Collège Sainte Marie at Palma by various state council of the office of the DPP. Their task were to create awareness among young persons as regards to the various aspects of the criminal justice process from the reporting of the case to its final determination. Rodrigues were not forgotten in this intensive awareness campaign whereby in September 2013 the Director of Public Prosecution met students of Form 1 to Form 3 of Terre Rouge, Rodrigue College and Grand Bretagne College. The DPP explained to the children the process of investigation and prosecution in cases where children are victims of sexual assault and the various methods adopted by authorities and the court to ascertain that children are not further victimized in the process and copies of the book Tania Sous Histoire were also distributed in the three schools. So as sexual offences against children are a major concern for our society, we are confident that the creation of the Child Victim and Witness Support Unit will enhance the fight against sexual abuse cases in Mauritius and Rodrigues.